Hello, welcome. Today I wanted to show you how to design your spotter in a very simple way and uh, how to save it so that you can use it afterwards. So in Spotter we differ between three um, design options. So the first is related to the camera grid itself, so how the camera grid is looking like. The second one is how to save tabs, how to design and save tabs uh, based on the camera grid and contents. And finally, how to save the whole design of Mirrors' Spotter that, if you, that you can recall it. So first of all, let's start with the camera grid. So you go to the camera tab here, you put it on the, you click on the right mouse button, you select camera grid, you go to custom and you start with edit custom grids. So you can say here, for example, if you want to have a 20 by 20 or whatever, uh, create a new one and you see now you have a 20 by 10 camera grid. To design it, it's very simple. So you go to the camera number one, you click on the left mouse button, keep it, pushed and then you drop it like you want to have it from the point of size. So you're taking the second one, the same style, keeping the left mouse button clicked, drop it and leave it. We do the same with the third one, maybe with the fourth one, a fifth and a sixth one. So if we are happy with the grid, so then we can give it a name. Moodle grid. And say safe and close. To recall the grid, it's very simple. Click with the right mouse button to camera tab, go to camera grids, go to customs, and you see Udo grid here. And by clicking on it, it is recalled. Now we can fill this grid with camera contents for the first, second camera, third camera, fourth camera, maybe also a button here, and the last camera. To save now this camera tab with its content, it's very easy. You go to the camera tab, click with the right mouse button, and you say here, save. So you can give the camera tab a name, Udo tab, and save it. So you see now here on the saved tabs on the left hand side, Udo tab. And we close this tab right now to test it. So and if we double click on Udo tab, it's open automatically, including all the contents. So you see now the difference between designing a grid and saving a tab. Saving a tab is always saving the look and the look of the grid, including the contents, means the cameras or whatever you have placed in here right now. Now we have also a complete design of the spotter. So maybe we have squeezed it a bit or zoomed in, zoomed out. Let's go to 95% or to 100% here. And we want to save all the camera tabs, the camera, the, the, the buttons that we have uh, um, enabled here. So then we go to layouts and say we want to have a new layout. We save this layout. Let's say Udo layout and then we save it. So if we go down on the uh, camera tree, we see under layouts, there is Udo layout as well. So, and if we close, for example, some of the camera tabs here, and we want to go back to our layout, then we just simply click on the Udo layout and mirrors is, is coming back with the former view. So in that way, you can design your spotter like you want and simply save it so that you do not need to 
we drive it afterwards again and again it's an automatic um, yeah it's an automatic process that you have here right now thank you